hopefully at this point you've watched my video on how to create this quite impressive vertical section clipping animation using V-Ray for SketchUp. If not, I encourage you to have a look, but otherwise that is, this video is, is self-sufficient in, in producing uh, animations using Adobe After Effects. So, first and foremost, I want to just copy that file path and then in After Effects, I simply hit File, Import, File. Copy that in there, obviously it's, it's remembered, um, but copy that in the top anyway to you know, give you a, a, a fast track to that uh, file location. If I just, let me just demonstrate that. Paste that in, Control V, and here we are. And then you simply click the first one. And if it's not ticked, make sure that a PNG sequence is ticked. Could be a JPEG sequence or, or whatever. Make sure that's selected. So you only click the first one and hit import. And it's brought it in as a stack of images as you intend to use it for a video. You could then simply drag that in to the composition area. And in, in the video I mentioned where I explain how to create this animation using SketchUp and V-Ray, at the start of it, the little intro, it plays forwards like that and then it plays backwards as well. It kind of, you know, goes the other way. So I would then go into composition settings and then just double the timeline so it's 10 seconds. I would then hit Control D to duplicate that. Slide it across, right click, time, time reverse. If you just hit space to play it, you can see that it then goes to full forwards and then just rocks backwards like so. So the key takeaway here is to import it as a PNG sequence by simply clicking the first one. After Effects automatically knows that it's in a sequence and every single rendering software that gives you the animation ability, if you render it frame by frame, which is the best way to do it because you don't, you know, if something crashes halfway through, you can kind of start from a certain frame where you've left off. So Adobe After Effects knows that it's in a sequence it automatically creates that stack. And I just wanted to give you that little extra, you know, to double the length of your, your videos, you can just do that kind of time reverse. Then the best way to render is composition, add to media encoder. Give it a sec, it pops up, and then just use one of the presets. If it's a vertical video, I just use match source, high bit rate, and it renders it as a vertical video for social media use and all that sort of stuff. So, nice and snappy one. Hope that helps. And um, I think the way things are going, uh, architects and visualizers are gonna need to use animations more and more to showcase the designs. And hopefully this gets you on your way. And a little shameless plug, if I may, on Arcademia.com, towards the back end of the year, we will have a full course between 10 and 15 lessons on creating the perfect architectural animation and the software we're going to use is chaos vantage their new release of vantage 2.0 will be the software in question as well so i will uh, provide a little link in the description or the comments uh, to our website and to the courses area i encourage you to join as a member because you will always have access to future courses they will just be added to your subscription Thank you very much for watching and uh, any questions or anything, leave them in the comments or pop us an email at adam at arcademia.com. Thanks one.